In January of 1996, I had an accident. A pretty bad accident. Matter of fact, I was on life support for about two and a half months. The doctor said, oh, he might make it, he might not make it. We don't know. But when I did come to, it was a couple of months later, uh, I couldn't feed myself. I had a colostomy bag. I was in bad shape. Come on, Steve. I was in the hospital, so I had some good nurses and some bad nurses. Hold on for a second. And I, when I say good nurses, I had some that were attentive and gentle, and I had some that just came in and just, oh, I need blood. They just stuck me. And I said, man, if I ever got in a position you? to help somebody, you? I would not be like that nurse was that came in here and just you jabbed me. I'm not going to be like that. I'm, I'm going to be a cut above. Well, fast forwarding, uh, I had a girlfriend that told me that they were hiring at CHDC, so I came out here. And at first, I didn't think I could make it. You know, I, I had never worked with people with disabilities. Then once I got in the unit, and I saw that some of them could not feed themselves, and some of them could not bathe in themselves, and some of them need assistance with drinking, and some of them needed assistance with using the bathroom. And I said, hey, wait. I remember that was me. That was me at one time. And then I remember telling myself, hey, you remember when you said, if you ever had to do this, that you would be a cut above? Okay, well, now it's your time. <laughs> it's your time to do it. And that was 19 years ago. And so I'm still here. I think I'm one of the best at whatever I do here, whether it's direct care or, or teaching or whatever I have to do. And so I think I have a unique perspective because I've been there. I've been there where I needed to be fed and cleaned and, and changed, and, and I had somebody to do it. I had good ones and bad ones. So I took after the good ones, and so that's why I'm here.